Benvindo, my friends. Welcome to Portugal for our brand new travel series. But my brand new travel series, this is actually one single video that I'm making for a short trip here to the beautiful city of Portugal. And I'm here with the one and only Mavivti. So you guys probably haven't seen her since like probably Oman or Qatar videos. So uh, it's been a while since we've had her making a debut on the channel. But uh, we're doing a very fast paced, fun video today, guys. We're gonna be taking you all around the beautiful city of Lisbon. And you're probably wondering how did I end up here? Well, my brother actually lives in Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, we are American if it's your first time watching this video, but my brother actually moved his company out here a couple years back and he's got his headquarters here. So we got my whole family together and it was Mabel's first time meeting the family. We're about to arrive to our location here and it's Mabel's first time here in Portugal. <laughs> And uh, she's actually going to be meeting the family in just a minute. Just a little bit uh, nerviosa, see? Si? Yeah. <laughs> That's Spanish. This might be it. My guess is it's one of these. Yo, oh, yo! How we doing? Hey, you guys found it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hello. How's it going, Dad? Hello. Good to see you. Awesome, awesome. How's everything? Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, okay. Can I help oh, you I with something? No, no, uh, I think I got it. Sure. Gracias. Walk this way. <laughs> yeah, how was the trip over? Oh, boy. Uh, father lay over here. Oh, oh grass, man, man, living the high life in here. Wow, it's gorgeous. Oh, sweet. It used to be a castle, as I understand. Oh, yeah? yeah it definitely looks like, like it. Carry. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Very yeah. Cool. Wow. So, how are you guys getting settled in? Let you're, me look at you guys. Yeah, how, how are we looking? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Or, you guys finally get to meet. <laughs> <laughs> finally got our visa approved. Finally. Yeah. All right. How's the trip over for you guys? Oh, you know, still adjusting. I'll do it. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. So, so what is it? Six hour time difference for you? Yes. Hello, hello. Oh, this is a sweet looking place. Wow. All right. Oh, looking hello. better than ever. Hi. Hi. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, so good to see you too. <laughs> and so yeah really really exciting time the last couple days here we've just been like catching up with family <laughs> like the donathan <laughs> did somebody say chow time <laughs> yummy yummy <laughs> <laughs> Oats and balsamic vinegar. Mm. That's what we call D. Mm. We have both of my sisters here. My sister's boyfriend. We have the Gregster Great shout out. Yeah, let's get the uh, shout out here. You guys are vloggers. Not the travel vlogger, even though we're always around the world. But you guys have built up a bit of a following. Hell yeah. Artist and model duo, the ultimate duo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are looking pretty fresh. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Mac. Right, let's do this. Let's do it. Thank you. Yalla. Yalla. And we did a couple of adventures. It's been rainy here in Portugal, so we haven't done like too, too much. Just pretty much catching up with family, which has been so much fun. But today we're going full speed straight into things. We are going to be taking you with to get a 24 hour Lisbon pass. And we're going to explore everything you can imagine there is to explore here in a short amount of time. So it's going to be fast paced. We're going to do a lot. We're going to see a lot. I will say I have been to Portugal in the past, so I know a bit about the city, but it's such a massive and spread out city that there's so much that we have not yet explored and it's Mabel's first time in Portugal. Yes. So are you ready for this, babe? I'm so ready. All right, here we go. So we're like five minutes away from where we're gonna pick up our 24 hour pass. My friends, we are going to pause today's video for just a moment to share with you our sponsor of the video, which is Get Your Guide. Get Your Guide is the top travel company to provide you travel adventures and excursions all around the world. And by all around the world, I mean in over 3,600 destinations, equaling over 60,000 experiences you can do. From tickets to top sites to one of a kind local experiences from the most knowledgeable locals you can find. Get Your Guide makes it easy for you as you can do your booking through the phone, receive your tickets, and show up to your excursion all through the application. It makes it simple for you to find that excursion, see what other people have said, look at the reviews, and book very amazing excursions from all over the world. One thing that I really appreciate about Get Your Guide is they offer a very flexible cancellation policy. 
things change, plans change all the time. You never know what's going to happen. And so the nice part is you can actually cancel for free up to 24 hours before the excursion takes place. I'm going to share with you how simple it is to book an excursion. So you'll go to getyourguide.com, type in the city you want to go to, select the excursion. We're doing the 24 hour Lisbon pass for two people. Click payment details and so now we have our experience if you guys want to book an experience with get your guide make sure you head down to the description as well as the comment section and you can find a link that will bring you directly to this excursion here in lisbon as well as their website to find excursions from all over the world depending on where you're going to be going so thank you guys so much back to the video so i got the two tickets for us the 24-hour pass we're going to the information spot to pick them up now and we're gonna get started with the video so Let's do this. This is where we're at right now. We're in like this huge open like square here that leads right up to the ocean. You can tell there's a lot of people just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful views. And so the cool part about Lisbon is there's like so many ways you can see the city. There are like these golf carts, there's tuk-tuks, there's taxis, there's buses, there's trains, there's trams, there's subways. There's a little bit of everything. Looks like we got the popo coming through. And so there's even boats to explore some of it. So. To be honest, I wanted this to be like as raw as possible. So I actually didn't even look into what all the Lisbon 24 hour pass covers. It's just basically like the ticket to see the city. So once we go over there, pick up our passes, then we're gonna come up with like, what our itinerary is, what we wanna see and share with you guys a really fun day adventuring around this place. So let's head on over. This is Lisbon in a nutshell. We've got live music happening here. We've got skateboarding happening there. We've got scooters all over to uh, rent and just such a vibe. Today is like, what, a Tuesday, midday, so you can just see how much people are just relaxing. There's a lot of tourism in this city, so, but like, aside from that, like, every day here feels like a weekend. All right, guys, I think it is this building. Basically, I opened up the Get Your Guide app, and it gave me, like, places where I can pick up my pass to travel around the city. So, we're gonna enter in here and see. This is so legendary. This is like the tourist hub in here, mm. and it's like marble all around. That's incredible. Tourist information. I'm guessing this has got to be it. Right here. Booking detail. Okay. Hello. Am I able to pick up the... Uh, These both cards? Yeah, yeah. I booked it on like Get Your Guide. Yeah. Yeah? They are closed already. Oh. Yeah, but right here in the corner of the Commerce Square, you have a museum, uh, the Codfish Museum, and I think you can do it inside also. Oh, okay, perfect. So you probably you, you should go there okay. and see if you can also do that in the, the museum. Either way, you also have two touristic uh, information points in the Commerce Square, one oh, perfect. in each side. All right, obrigado. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Wow. All right, looks like we missed it. Well, there you have it, guys. Things would not be as exciting if at least something didn't go wrong. So that's what uh, keeps it fun. Because now we get to go on a little bit of a scavenger hunt. All right, well, good news is what the uh, ladies inside had told us is correct. We just looked on the app and we were able to find Terrio de Paco. I'm definitely saying that completely wrong, but uh, that's all right. And it's gonna be three minutes away and then we're there. I will say guys, there's no better place to need to go walking around to find the next spot than in Portugal because there's just so much stuff to look at, even before we start doing the excursions. Like this is a uh, thing called Commerce Square. So look at how many people are just chilling. There's gotta be like a thousand people, but you wouldn't think that at first because it's so massive and so spread out. But uh, yeah, like there's cool restaurants all along the borders here. And so, yeah, I think we're gonna be in for some serious fun today. What's the, uh, the favorite thing about Portugal you've experienced so far? Uh, the first thing that you, uh, that I tasted when I, at the airport. Oh, like, pato de nata. Yes, because I keep forgetting the name. That's really good. The food is great here. It's amazing. And just like the vibe of the city, the color buildings. It's just yeah. super attractive. That's super so nice. true. Such a vibe here overall. Yeah, overall such a vibe. And like also the fashion here. Because <laughs> I'm really into fashion. So I look at, you know, people's clothing and outfits and it, they're really nice. Yeah, for real. It's become the new fashion capital of Europe. Don't tell France I said that though. <laughs> All right, I would assume this big eye right here has got to be the spot. Italian restaurant right there. Some patio vibe spots. But uh, here we go. All right. Yeah, right through there in that eye is probably going to be the one. People are already having brews first thing in the morning. That's pretty nice. Okay, all right. Here's the pass in here, hopefully. So it looks like a nice big tourism hub right in here. Yeah. All right find out everything we want to do. Bit of a line. Looks like we're not the only ones with the idea. Hello, brother. Hello. 
Uh, I need to pick up a uh, Lisbon 24 hour right. pass through yeah. Get Your Guide, please. Okay, right. let me show me. Right get your guide. So, this is the. Uh, did you heard, like the, the explanation or? Uh, just a, a quick explanation. This, this is the guide for the card. This is the map of the city, okay? Oh, perfect. So the map of Lisbon. The card starts after the first use. After the first use, you need to write date, time, and you sign the card on the back. Oh, perfect. Monuments and museums, you present the card at the ticket office. Transports, you scan the card at the machines or tap it. Perfect. So it can go on like uh, the tram and... Uh, Metro, bus, Metro bus, trains, sweet. funiculars and elevators, okay? Oh, sweet. So we can take that to Sintra too? Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right. The two cards, okay? Obrigado, obrigado. Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we have now officially gotten our Lisboa card. We're starting at like 1 p.m., but the nice part is the guy was explaining that this doesn't start your like 24-hour pass until you go to the first attraction. And then from then, you write on the back like your signature and the time you start. And if you get the 24, 48, or 72-hour card, then that decides when your 24, 48, or 72 hours begins. So we're gonna be going and checking out some places. Basically, it gets you into a bunch of like museums, attractions, things like that. Uh, I like to kind of just walk around and stroll around, and this is perfect. But like, because Lisbon is such a spread out city, we're able to get on like all the different types of public transportation for no additional cost. Aside from that, like you can also uh, get discounts on a bunch of different attractions in the cities. Uh, aside from like the free entrance in museums and some other top attractions, so. We're gonna go ahead and just stroll around the city. I'm sure it's gonna consist of some walking, maybe hop on the streetcar at some point here and uh, just enjoy what Lisbon has to offer. So let's do this. Let's do this. All right, guys, we are actually going to head straight over to the Pillar 7 bridge because the weather's perfect right now. At about 1.30, we're gonna head straight to the bridge and check it out. It's gonna be a really beautiful view of seeing all of Lisbon. But as you can see, look at this massive, massive entrance. This is just like the most like beautiful way to say welcome to Lisbon. Hello, brother. Uh, are we able to get any sort of discount to go on with this? The Lisbon uh, card? Discount, yeah, but uh, you need to buy, buy a white driver, okay? The ticket is cost uh, for two persons $37.50. $37.50. $37. And it's discounted? Normal, yeah, white is discount. Oh, uh, okay. And how much is the discount for the card? It's 25%. 25%. For example, it's uh, 50 euros. Uh, less 25%. Oh, perfect. All right. For two people, total is 37? 37, yeah. Okay. You can go with the travel wheel oh. department. Yeah. Perfect. I can come. Thank you. Thank you. Because I cannot yeah. stop oh. here for oh. so long, so you can have a seat. Oh. Thank you. Next stop, I, I, I charge you. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we hopped on a hop on hop off bus right now, the city sightseeing bus. So we are actually already here at the bridge. So we're going to use this bus to go cruising around later. We got a 25% discount on it. And then we're going to check out this bridge that's somewhere up here. I guess a little bit further up and we'll take you for a little tour through there. And how often do the buses uh, come? Uh, here, every hour you have buses. Okay. Okay. That's good. Perfect. So you wanna buy the ticket now or after? Uh, we can buy it now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have uh, just the Lisboa card for you? Uh, no, for both of us. Uh, for both of us. Yes, yeah. because I need to put the, the yeah. number here. Thank you. So usually like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. at those times you're yes. the bus is gonna open. Every hour you have buses here, or, or if you cross these roads, we have over there two lines, red Perfect. and this purple. Okay. Perfect. Obrigado. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. You, you do. I hope I understood this correctly that we get this for free. Yeah. Okay. No, otherwise you're just getting discounts on everything. We are entering in here. Hello. Are we able to have uh, two tours on the bridge? Yes, but let me tell you the lift is not working. So okay. now I'm going to go is by stairs. Oh, by stairs, okay. How many stairs is that? 308. 308. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. All right, guys, we are going to be heading over to the Experience Pillar 7 bridge. The uh, unique part about today is the lifts aren't working. So let's put it this way, we're getting the full adventure and we're gonna get a proper workout because I think you said it's like 300 and something steps. Yeah. So tickets and head on through. Okay, <laughs> put that thing right on in there. Oh, well, there we go. Got one? Yala? Yala. Yeah. All right, so that is a long way up, oh but God. just like a small little mountain. <laughs> yeah. So it's a cool little spot here though, guys. Obviously we changed some plans kind of like impromptu because we missed the 728 bus. We were a little bit confused, that's why the uh, video wasn't as smooth, but now I think we got a good flow going. We bought tickets to the uh, city sightseeing bus, 
which like the the uh, Lisbon oil card gave us a 25% discount. So that already right there like paid for one third of the cost of the I think 22 euros that the Lisbon oil card was. So uh, yeah, that's really really nice. And now we just got this free excursion or included in the card, which was like 750 to go on this bridge. So yeah, as you can see, like if you really do a lot of stuff in the day. Uh, the Lisboa card pays for itself super quick. So yeah, now we're going to head on over this way and get a uh, full on exercise. All right, this looks like the entrance. Although I still haven't figured out where these stairs, these 300 something stairs are. Maybe it's right inside this area. Ponte 25 de Abril. And here we go. All right, head through this way. Climb in the panoramic elevator. Well. It's too bad we don't have the uh, panoramic elevator. This is insane. So it looks like this has been around for quite some time. Wow, since the 60s, that's when they constructed it. Opening ceremony, 1966. That means, I mean, this bridge is like 50, 60, maybe 70 years old. All right. Vamsh. You know that one? That means let's go. Vamsh. All right, well. Ready for uh, 300 stairs? Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Guys, you can't see anything with a GoPro, but you just walk in and it's like completely dark. The nice part is like, because the elevator's not operating, there's nobody else. So we're gonna have this place all to ourselves. It's turning to slow too. Yeah. Imagine taking this elevator all the way up. That one's not in a hurry, I see. <laughs> They've got the sound effects going on in here too. Yeah, it is, it is pretty scary. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Please open now. Open Sesame. Vanguardian Leviosa. <laughs> All right, that one worked. Okay, well, okay. let's see. Take this up. I feel like one. I'm the uh, operator now. Yeah. Do they hit the big red button? Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now to go on the super fast elevator here. <laughs> yeah, imagine taking this thing all the way up to the top. It's 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the entire excursion. <laughs> Vamos al bridge. Obrigado. 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 <laughs> You'll never know we're not Portuguese. Mm. Vamos. <laughs> that means yellow. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the top here. It's kind of like this vibey little retro area where they've got some instructions on cables, not instructions, but information on how everything works. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a little confusing to figure out where we gotta go. Whoa. This is insane. That's scary, my love. Look at these, these are all high tension cables right there. That's so scary. Yeah. Oof. See the cables? Go up from here, it looks I like. think the stairs begin. 307, 306, 305, 304, 303. All right, we're making progress. We arrived. All right, yes. <laughs> we're on top. <laughs> If only that were true. Full speed ahead. All right. And here we go. Are you scared? I'm a bit scared, yeah. Yeah, all right, well, here we go. 305, 304, 303, 302, 301, 300 left to go. Oh, we're climbing up the stairs right now. Oh my God, I feel like I'm Ali. Go with Ali. She feels like she's you right now, bro. We're going up a very, very steep set of stairs. <sighs> Why did I do this? <laughs> Honestly, it's actually going by pretty quick. Yeah. All right. Proper workout. Cool. Uh huh. Some good fudge. We're gonna earn those pastel de natas. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know what a pastel de nata is, wow. but it's heaven in the form of a custard pie in Portugal, which we'll get as a treat later. Whew. Wow. All right. We're like probably 20% up uh, and it's starting to catch up to us. Woo! Oh my gosh. But remind it is. Me, remind me why there is no elevator for this? Yeah, it broke. But honestly, aside from. Seriously? It kind of works <laughs> out that the uh, elevator's out because we haven't passed a single other person here. <laughs> Guys, I wish I would have been recording this. So, like, the whole. The yeah, the train passed and the whole set of stairs, everything was like. Bum, 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 bum. We both, like, jumped. Uh -huh. That's a proper thrill. Thrill? Yeah. Why it reminds we you we're human. Why did it choose the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta start out strong. This cuter stuff we can check. <laughs> oh, it's cute, that's for sure. Oh my god. We have made it. it. Piso 25. 25th floor, 207 feet. How are you feeling? Scared. She's 
like, this isn't what I signed up for. I thought we were going to be taking pictures in the alleyways. Wow. There we go. We made it up. Wow. Look at this. Oh, wow. This this will make your legs go like jello -y. Because directly under this, you would free fall 200 meters, is it? So you just stand over there and you look out. But see that, guys? Road stretches all the way along there. There's Bolem Tower down there. Maybe we'll stop there after here, take you inside, and uh, <laughs> don't be scared. Can you walk on this or no? No. Oh, right over this area where there's no support. It does make your legs have a little bit of... Ooh, oh, my leg! My leg! Ah. All right. Are you going to be able to handle this part? Yeah, there's the elevator, fully shut off. Oh, so you can't even go out on the bridge. There's just a little viewing patio. Oh, step out onto this. No. Whew. That's a little scary when you look down. Come on out, you can do it. Oh, I'm too scared. All right. Well, here's the bridge. You can see all the way down there. And there's the uh, statue that's just like the Brazilian uh, Cristo de Redentor. Wow. We've got to be standing out here when the uh, train comes. Yeah, this, this is crazy. Oh, wow. Wild, my friends. Not the, not the place to go if you're scared of heights, right? What? Hold no. my hand. We're in this no. together, my love. No. No. Don't force me. Go with Ali. This would be you. No, I don't want to. There we go. I'm scared. No, that's enough. A little further. No. Yeah, so pretty incredible views up here. I will say, I was hoping we'd be able to like walk a bit further out and explore more of this bridge, but it seems like we're pretty limited on the uh, extent in which you can kind of explore the upstairs area, but I'm sure that's for like safety reasons. They've got pretty high glass walls, so, you know, no accidents can happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top was uh, a bit anticlimactic just for the reason being that we couldn't explore as much but still worth it for checking out oh this is where the train goes by look at this full speed ahead yeah it's pretty terrifying because all this is just metal so it's just so noisy but it's cool if you like a little bit of a thrill this is your place to go I'm thinking it's a pretty strong bridge. We've got construction workers out there and this thing's been around since the 1960s and it's definitely had a few uh, few moments of maintenance since it was built. So that's good news. But we'll see you at the bottom, guys. The uh, way down is not going to be as much fun as the way up. Three, two, one. And we made it downstairs to the bottom. Much easier going down than it is coming up. So that's Lisbon for you. We got the planes flying right over. And this is where the bus is going to pick us up in like 30 minutes. So I did see that there's like some container areas I wanted to check out. And on the other side of this bridge or of this uh, two-way road, there's actually a bunch of restaurants along the coast. But let's see if this place is open now. It looks like it's open. Hungry, Madov? Yeah. Yalla. Village Underground Lisboa. Here it is. All right. So it's a little quiet today. I guess that's normal on a Tuesday. Seems kind of like a bar hangout area. It's like got that kind of progressive, trendy type of feel to it. Bar there. I don't know if it's all one unit or what the deal is. Got some uh, wine. Oh. And what do we got over here? Looks like a bunch of like areas that all lead and connect. Like a big park maybe? Interesting. All right, well, let's maybe try heading up here and exploring. What's there? Oh, we got a DJ even in there. Look at that, we got Dex recording studio. Wow. You see that? Now we're speaking Mabel's language. All right, they even got a bus parked up here. Not sure how they did that, but we've got tables on the inside, outfitted, a little bridgeway that leads you across. That's a vibey idea they've got going on. More stairs. All right, and we made it up to the top. Oh, there's some people uh, working up in the top of that bus. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And after this long maze, we have made it back to, I think the only, this is the only bus that has maybe food or drinks and even the kitchen on this floor, maybe down. Do you want to ask? Yalla. Where can we eat? Down? Uh, down. Downstairs. All right. Well, looks like this must be the spot to get chow. Oh, your favorite. They've got burgers there. Oh. Portuguese classic. Mmm. Oh, only burgers? Grabs? 
salads, tapas, toasts, and dessert. Get ourselves some waters and a Santo. Is that the one or the Alameda? Alameda? Santo Amado. All right, perfect. And then I probably need to try out the Portuguese beer, right? Super Bock. Oh yeah, I'll take a Super Bock, please, brother. No. Uh, yeah, please. We want the small, medium, What do you think, large beer? Whatever you want. All right, deal. Uh, let's do the medium then. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, ice cold, nice cold. Well, we're gonna have a little snack to share here at this stop because we've got some time. So I had to try out the local beer here. Wow, that's nice. A nice light beer called Superbach. Straight from the tap is always the best, the draft beer. Just feels fresher. And it's quite hydrating after going up and down 300 something stairs. So I'd say that's uh, perfect. We got a water too as well, but I think they call this Portuguese water, right? Oh, true. All right, so this is what we're gonna be trying out. A, looks like a, I guess you could call it like almost like a grilled cheese. We've got cheese in there. I wanna say we've got maybe some like chicken breast and something, it smells delish. Let's give it a nice taste test. Mm. That is nice. Now you may or may not think this is like a super Portuguese meal, but let me tell you, when it comes to anything related to like bakeries or bread or sandwiches or baguettes, that is the epitome of Portugal. So just having this right here is like having one of Portugal's like most desired lunchtime items, which is just a nice delish sandwich while enjoying a super bock. Yum. With some chips, I think they even hooked this up with too there. And we have views of Ponte 25 de Abria. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys, we just finished up a quick little meal there. Something to hold us off a bit. And we are going to continue on with the uh, day here. So unfortunately, while we were eating, we saw the uh, hop on hop off city sightseeing tour bus pull up and drive away so we're like okay well i guess we're going to be showing you guys from the water so guys that was the village underground lisboa so to be honest if this it feels like probably like uh right now it's 40 50 degrees outside maybe 60 when the sun comes out if it was a little bit warmer it'd be such a like great spot to just vibe out in or if we had proper jackets on right now but we were thinking it's going to be sunny all day so we're a little little underdressed for the cold lisboa weather but once we get our uh, feet moving, uh, then we'll be feeling good again. All right, we have made it to the bridge to get us to the other side since we missed the sightseeing bus. Because the sightseeing bus only comes once every hour. I don't know if I mentioned that before, guys, but I'm glad we're doing the walk because this is cool. Now we get another view of the bridge right up here. You can see where all the trains are coming in and out. And just like a super cool like panoramic view of the area. Oops, sorry. And look at right up there. The whole bridge with the... Cristo de Redentor statue there. Are we gonna get inside this? Oh yeah, we're going straight over to the Belém Tower. And then we're gonna show you guys the city sightseeing bus after that. But actually, I'm, I'm happy this worked out the way it did because now we get to walk along here. A lot of really nice pedestrian areas to like cruise around in Lisbon, like bike areas or scooters. As much as I'd love to take you guys with us on a little scooter ride, balancing the bell on the back of the scooter while trying to film in this cold weather is probably not a mix for success. Let's put it that way. Nice. The one thing I'll tell you with Portugal is you can never get tired with some of the sites you see. I've walked on this path a few times since I've been here and I don't remember even noticing these sculptures. They've been around since it looks like either 2021 or 2012. It was a really small print I couldn't see from there. So don't quote me on that. But look at this, we've got like food stands. Obviously if it was a little warmer out, we'd probably find a lot more of these stands open. But uh, yeah, there's just like so many places to sit down, benches, scooters. We've got boats coming in and out, planes flying over just a city with a lot of life in it now i will i have to obviously address the elephant in the room for those of you guys who are used to watching my videos obviously when i'm in some of the like asian countries that i've been to in a lot of my recent series it is a different vibe like in western europe it's not going to be as normal where you'll interact with as many locals people just necessarily don't have that same um interest in interacting with vloggers to the extent as like some of the other countries i've been to so that's one of the things why i love filming in a lot of the asian countries because people just simply love being on camera here people are a bit more reserved really nice people though overall in portugal uh that's just obviously going to add such a different dynamic when i'm shooting these videos so it's a lot more of me showing you guys oh sunglasses are trying to run away from me a lot more of me uh, taking you guys with on an adventure like this but uh you know it's fun to change things up at the same time as well and uh, as we're walking over this way looks like right along here we've got some more higher end type of eateries here Sud Lisboa so 
Yeah, you can imagine here, this has got to be the spot. My brother actually was telling me the other day, on the other side here, there's like some beaches, and they have crazy beach clubs that are, I guess, Bali-like here in Portugal for like the summertime. So it's pretty cool to uh, know how many different like pockets of the greater Lisbon area uh, you're able to go and explore. I mean, it would take you years just to really see everything in the area. Oh, and we got ourselves a little food cart right here too. Had we not have just eaten, I would love to try something like this. Like some cheese balls in there. Maybe after some more walking. Yeah. Those look great. Brazilian too. Oh, that's one thing I'll mention to you guys. Obviously, speaking Portuguese, you get a lot of Brazilians here that have come here and work. As a matter of fact, you actually get people from all over the world. That's one thing my dad and I were talking about is just how many cultures have really like created this melting pot culture in Lisbon. So it's fascinating to see it like that. You know, you'll see like people from probably hundreds of countries within one day of walking just cruising around you'll hear many languages and i do like that about places when it's just a big melting pot all right and we're going up the stairs i don't even show you guys where we're going but i think it's like a if i were to guess without even looking at a sign some massive like art sculpture yeah. it actually reminds me of this similar not the same in any way but like similar reminder of this um, piece of art in the middle of sevilla spain been so long since i've been there i can't remember the name of it but it's like right in the center it's like this white structure that has a bunch of like curves and loops and railings that you can walk around and get photos on and once we go down guys i'll show you what this looks like and maybe you'll be able to drop a comment below on which structure in sevilla that i'm relating it to but whew, yeah. we've done a lot of stuff today i'm not gonna i'm out of breath as you can probably tell but unfortunately by the time we've got down here guys the mist and the rain has come when the weatherman told us today was a clear day. So it's a bit of a bummer, but we're going to make the most of it. That's for sure. All right. We just walked kind of down this way and now you can kind of see the structure. I guess it doesn't remind me of the one that I'm thinking of in Spain as much as possible. I'm going to capture it on the screen. So you know what I'm talking about, but it's still kind of a cool walking space. We are now almost to the Belém oh. tower that I believe is a That's ferry. Nice. Yeah, that'd be fun to go cruising on. Yeah. It looks like they've got two levels. The top, where probably people in the summer when it's not raining go on, and then the second level, which looks like a good spot to look out the window. But yeah, I'm glad we didn't choose a boat cruise today because, let's put it this way, the views would not be that spectacular. Now that's pretty sweet. I have no idea what it is, but from afar it looks like some shiny modern object, but it's a unique staple of Lisbon's art. You do get a lot of people out here sailing. If it was a beautiful day, that'd be a must that we would take you guys out on. It's just cruising right through like the uh, river that leads into the city. It's just, it'll show you all sides of the place. But if you're checking out this video and you're coming in the summer, you're bound to find a lot of beautiful days to do that. So I would recommend that. But we're trying to make the best tour in a small amount of time, taking the weather into consideration. And so quite a few variables to uh, balance to find the, uh, the great itinerary in the springtime here. So as we're walking down through this area, it started raining a bit, so I actually had to put the camera away. But as you can see, this is what we just walked past, this incredibly beautifully sculpted, I guess you could call it like maybe a sandstone. Um, like it's gotta be maybe 30, 40 meters high. And then right along here, you have all these super cool restaurants. Like that seat is literally right next to the water. We've got the Cervejaria, or Cervejaria right here. Like just so many cool restaurants that are literally built into the water. And so coming to Lisbon in the springtime though, I will say bring your raincoat. We messed up uh, doing our outfits that were meant for the sun. Guys, and so finally, after all this, we just came down this way and we're gonna be walking up to the Tower of Belém right here. So I hope it's open because we just walked probably like 30, 40 minutes in order to get ourselves over here on this gloomy day, but we shall see in just a moment. The cool part is like all along here, there's like some ice cream shops and like place to get sweets. So it's got a nice vibe to it for sure. Not probably the time I want to eat a lot of ice cream at the moment, but it's a nice thought. Hello, brother. Uh, can we please have two entrances? Oh, thank you. Obrigado. 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 Thank you. All right, guys, so the cool part is all we had to do was walk up there, give the guy the list ball cards. He did something, maybe activated it, and then we just walk right in with these, and we get entrance to here. I didn't look at the price to get in, actually, 
but usually something like this uh, I would say usually like seven to ten euros so as you'll see like you know the more of these places you go to and if you plan your schedule out well a little bit better than we did you can maximize like saving you know 50 100 euros if you really go to as many sites as you can guys this is a pretty cool time to be walking into the uh Belem tower here i mean these waves some of them are getting high enough it's literally splashing up here like check this out Woo -hoo -hoo. all right and we're taking this bridge right over yeah it's a choppy day honestly i've kind of taken back what i was saying about how i didn't like that it was raining like visiting a castle like this this is like makes it so much more exotic and it brings down the crowds a bit like most of the time guys in the past when i've been to portugal this has such a long line over here just to get into the tower that like now we're literally walking right up we're going to be able to go in and explore so you can really move around the city much much faster all right and we are entering the entrada here yeah. oh looks like everyone's oh. Wow. all right looks like we're not the only ones coming in Right, spoke too soon there's actually a massive line inside and we're uh, we're safe though because we're surrounded by cannons here to keep us safe oh is this like basically the tour you kind of walk through and then walk back oh there's even like a downstairs area that's i guess considered down there below sea level look at this this is where they used to just guard everything wow well these aren't the cannons that are going to guard too much it's basically these towers over here. Imagine this place during battlefield. You just hear the cannon, bah, bah. and then when you basically shoot off a cannon, it like slides back a bit. And then these things are just basically shooting out straight out into the ocean at the ships coming in, trying to invade. That's that's pretty epic. The dang times. Uh -huh. The old times back in the day. <laughs> All right. Well, that was quick. That's it. No, there's got to be something else. There's no way this is the line just to leave, right? All right, after all this waiting, it looks like we are going to get up to Torre Alta, the high tower. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty windy and cold up there, so we might have to make this quick. All right, looks like we've almost made it up. Not the only ones with the idea to go up today. This is the tower, yeah? All right, some views of Lisboa. Oh, look at this. Too bad we can't open up the window here. See the waves coming in there. And the bridge that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge there. Vibes. Cool to see. It's like a bit on the crowded side though. Looks like we've got a tight little passageway to get through, as you can see. Whoa. All right, that's pretty small to get through there. Yeah. And it just opens up to right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This is really cool! That's crazy. Well, it's nice to not have a window there so you can actually see out. Mm -hmm. The windows are quite dirty. Look at this tight little space there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going all the way up to the top here. Narrow spiral staircase, 93 steps to get up. Wow. We'll have gone up like 500, 600, maybe 700 by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're not going all the way up. That was like 20 of them. Cool tower. Slowly getting higher to see more and more. Yeah. Oh. There's a balcony out there too. Gonna check it out. Would not be a bad patio to wake up and have coffee on. Have a nice coffee out here in the morning every I was day. thinking about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think alike. That's right. Yeah, pretty impressive looking place though overall. And the weather's clearing up so you can see the views that they once had here when they used to live out here. And the journey up the 93 steps continues. But basically, one thing you gotta know, if you're doing this, you gotta commit to the entire time. There's no way out, it looks like. And we're up here. Oh, this is the chapel. So this is pretty much as high as we're gonna be able to go. There's some more steps up there, but that's about it. This is the chapel on the fourth floor. Smaller than I expected it to be, but definitely gets the job done. What do you think? Yeah, it gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back down we go. Let's see how steep these are. Alright, and we have made it out. Cool thing to see overall. We were in there for probably 45 minutes. And yeah, it was alright. Like if you're really into castles, history, this type of thing, I'd recommend going in. But if you're just looking at it from outside, it's also uh, fine. It was cool to see because the lines weren't like crazy long. But when you're inside, like, uh, yeah, it's a vibe. 
Guys, we just made it over to the monastery, but sadly, we arrived a bit too late. Yes. Bummer. Good thing we have the 24-hour pass and we might be able to fit it in tomorrow, but we shall see. We made it here and it's closed. It is massive though. Still beautiful to see from the outside. There's this huge fountain here. We've actually even got a little duck right here. Look at this little guy. He's just hanging out. Hello. Hello, little duck. Well, he's not scared of tourists though. He's just chilling. Mm -hmm. He's just chillaxing. You gonna go for a swim? Hello there. Hi, duck. The little duck. Oh, no, oh, she good. almost pet him. <laughs> He's like, well, don't be touching me. Since we made it this far, though, we are going to get a little closer than where we were, where the fountain is, to see how massive this place is. I mean, this stretch is like three city blocks long. Just an absolute beautiful piece of architecture called the Mostero dos Herenimos. Well guys, good thing we came up here to check because the closing is actually at 6 p.m. So Google Maps has it all wrong. Yala. Habibi. Yala Habibi. All right, look at this place. This is incredible. Just in time. We are entering in. Hello, brother. Oh Which yeah, can? I think we will try out the USA. It's up. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, no, we have oh, a right. We're walking in. Cute. Welcome. This is incredible. It's right when you walk in. So beautiful. Yeah, this is insanely beautiful. Guys, the GoPro's never gonna like help you understand how like tall these ceilings are. These has gotta be like 20 meters up, 10 meters or something like that. Huge painting right there at the top. Something else, and since we're here, in the last 45 minutes of it being open, there's nobody here, so it's like we got the place to ourselves. Wood sculptures up here. Somebody's happy. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay, look at this beautiful architecture. And just look at how closely every single square inch of this place is just carved out. That's something else. Imagine how long sculpting something like this would take. I mean, every corner you look at the top of those towers, the, it almost looks like those are birds hanging off there all the way around to the faces. That is so much sculpting required. Wow. You've got to be an expert sculptor to be able to perfect every square inch of this place. Well, the journey continues down the dark hallway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you scared? <laughs> they should have like candles here. That'd be so much more vibey. I know. But their electric light still has the, has the mood. Oh yeah, true. Candles would be just like how it was back in the day. Yeah. Lighting up these tunnels. Yeah. I can only whisper in here, but look at how massive this room is. Obrigado. All right. Well, probably about a 15, 20 minute tour through there, guys, and we saw the areas we were allowed to explore. And that gets us to like 540, so. Wow, look at this door. You're not coming in very easily there. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we're the last ones here then. We closed up shop, just denied these guys that. Those guys were actually in the tower with us. I'm just curious to know about the rest of it because we yeah. only saw this part right here. I feel like there's got to be other entrances to see, but maybe, maybe the other areas are what's closed down because, like, like I said on Google Maps, which you think would be accurate given the amount of people that come from all around the world yeah. to visit this place and the amount of reviews, they all said it was closing at five, and we walked up and it said closing at six. So there's probably multiple entrances to see. I mean, over here it seems like the main entrance. When you look at that, I mean. That's something else. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's that's something you want to send a photo to your mom to. That's true. I There's think for the first there. time ever, we're actually going to make it on the bus without missing it. So we'll get to try out our uh, Lisbon pass getting on the bus. Huge line. Looks like we're not the only ones with this idea, though. Yeah. Oh. All right. Hello, brother. Okay, okay. There's the mic in your phone, okay? Okay. Uh, Lisbon pass right there. Yeah. Oh, we do the this. Oh, there we go. One and... Oh. One of them's not working. Well, there we go. Now it works. All right, is there anywhere we can sit? Huh. I don't know if we're going to get lucky. Maybe back this way. Then we can figure out where to jump off then. Here? Yeah, might as well stand right up here. Oh, perfect timing. We got two seats up there waiting for us. Obrigado. All right, and... Oh yeah, we made it off Yala Yaruhe. All right, that was a bus experience, but that got us back pretty quick. Yeah. I will say, my friends, now that we didn't have to wait for 
the bus when we saw one outside it was actually a pretty efficient process when we got to see oh and of course there's the sightseeing bus of course <laughs> when we're walking away so i guess we're gonna miss it again but we're gonna check out the timeout market right over here all right so we're going to the uh, timeout market if it's open so we can get some plants here mm. get some for the don rob <laughs> another baby mm -hmm. yalla, yalla. let's see here this looks like the entrance right over here mercado da riviera Ooh. and we are entering hello time out lisboa it's still a little cold in here though yeah flower shop oh the timeout market vibey atmosphere in here looks like they've got bars and restaurants all the way around here i could take a little uh pastel de nata down right now Fadale. yum 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 this looks like this could be the shop right there and no that's that's full food oh we're vibing out here well look at this we've got sweets heaven we've got crushed donuts handmade american donuts Wow. Or we've got ourselves some pastel de natas over here. All right. Wow. Something delicious over here. So delicious. Got a sweet tooth. Uh, what, do you, what do you got in mind? Start out with some pastel de natas? Yes. Hello, brother. Uh, uh, dos uh, pastel de natas, please. Pastel de nata? Here. Oh, over there. big idea. Okay. okay Obrigado. Thank you. All right. We saw her and we saw some girl uh, near us with pastel de natas. We were like, all right, we came to the right place. Oh. But it looks like we're going this way, crash jam. And this must be it right there. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Homemade Portuguese custard tarts. This is the day. The place. Mm -mm, good. Yeah. Wow, and you can see them being made back there too, actually. Oh, oh. What do you think? Get a six pack or you're not gonna be able to take down a full six pack? No, I can take whatever. Alright. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. So that's how they're made. Basically, they have the batter there. They're filling them up in what looks to be almost like a cupcake style pan with maybe one, two, three, four, five times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 60 of them per pan we're seeing back there. So each batch. All right. Mm, mm, mm. And they're freshly made. As you can see, they're basically cooked. You got an, like a crunchy outside, and then the top has a very, very light brown speck to it. Showed it's cooked just enough. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the chef. <laughs> that scared her, I think. Like, is, that guy, is that guy a pasta de nata connoisseur? I'd say so. But, uh, alright, what do you think? Get one of these? Yeah. A small one if you want. Alright, six pack then. Oh. <laughs> yeah, deal. Hello, a uh, pack of six, please. Pack of six? Yes. Here? Uh, the best ones you have, please. Uh, pack? Uh, pack? Uh, no, uh, no, yeah, just one of these, please. Oh. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Did somebody say yum yum yum? Yum yum yummy. Well, we got that. I feel like we need something something to go along with it, like some sort of beverage or some food or what do you got in mind? I made this. Uh, I made this decision. So you're uh, you're up for the next one. Okay. Or we can add donuts to the mix if you want. <laughs> I feel like uh, it's too much donuts. Right yeah. Right. I mean, they do look awfully nice. Oh, they do look so nice. Look at that vanilla glaze. Tempting, oh. but wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, look at that's your favorite right there. Oh, lotus. lotus. I know. I saw that. Oh, oh. we might come back. Thank you. A right, bunch of little spots to chill out, eat. Okay, look at that. We've got all types of jamon, carne, meats. Pasta del dang. Oh, yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah. We've got wines here, too. This is like a nice little afternoon spot right after work. You get off, come down here, have some pastel de natas, have a little carne, have some super box beers, and just enjoy the moments with the Portuguese vibes. What do you think? You want bebidas right here? Bebida means drink? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you got in mind? Just like probably orange juice or something. Oh, all right. Uh, here? I yeah. thought she was going for wine, my friends. Uh, you want I was going to say, why not? You want wine? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh, we have two glasses of Dero Dalva Coljeda. White or red? Uh, red, please. Oh, yeah. Obrigado. Cheers. 
All right, let's take a seat and test these things out, my love. What do you think? going to locate ourselves a spot. Oh, look at that. Aperol Spritz over there, Taylor's, Casa de Vinos. This is the place to get yourself a nice drink. Uh, yeah, let's keep looking maybe this side. All right, we have located ourselves a spot here, and it's time to test out these pastel de natas. Oh, yeah. Take your pick. Cheers. Cheers. 20 years, so one for the subscribers to eat. Yeah, how do you rate that thing then? 10 out of 10. Wow, that good. Because right. I love cinnamon and it has the cinnamon flavor in it. I love cinnamon. Mm. Is that vanilla? vanilla? I think it's like a vanilla like custard in there. Let's try it out here. Mm. Oh my god. Guys, it is so good. To be honest, I'm not a big like cream filling custard type of guy normally, but in like I would never get like a donut that has like a bunch of cream filling. It's not my thing. But these are so good because it's like pie crust, very flaky, a little messy when you eat it. The top's got like a hardened custard layer, and the inside is just like a creamy vanilla. As Lavelle explained it, like cinnamon. Oh, it's just it checks all the boxes for a delish dessert. Mm. Last bite. Cheers to you guys. How's that taste? Really good. Mm -hmm. And I'd say not bad. Came out to about like 350 euros uh, per glass, so four US bucks. I think these were like maybe seven for a six pack. So not bad, just a little bit over one euro, one dollar five cents, one dollar twenty cents maybe for uh, pastel de natto. What do you think, round two? Yeah. Caper? Oh, oh, almost dropped. Satan. Satan, my love. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, quick little stop to show you guys Time Out Market and Yalla, we're out of here. We're going to a very touristy spot. It's called Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you to guys get, can. To get Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Fenty, if you're listening, please sponsor me. I need free makeup. <laughs> exactly. Well, as you guys can see, the uh, video is coming to a, an end here because Mabel came and joined us on the tour. So I'm going to walk her to the next store, which I'm probably not going to film because I don't know if it's going to be that exciting for you guys watching Mabel test out makeup set in Sephora. But if that's something you would have wanted to see, <laughs> drop a comment below or check out her YouTube channel and I'll tag it in the description <laughs> below. Anyways, guys, that is uh, where I'm going to go ahead and end the video. We tried to see as much as we could. Keep in mind, I might extend this video tomorrow if uh, we have some time because the pass goes for 24 hours or it might be in a future video. But uh, the nice part is you can do so much with the pass. I wish it was a little sunnier out today because we'd probably have been motivated to go a bit faster in some cases. But um, nonetheless, we had so much fun going to all these places. And so I just want to mention once again, I actually use the application called Get Your Guide, which is an aggregator that has over 60,000 experiences built into their app. They have the most knowledgeable guides in over 3,000 cities. So you can literally go ahead and book yourself an excursion wherever you might be. You're very likely to be able to find a super cool excursion to check out. So yeah, we had so much fun. That was just one of the so many activities you can do in Lisbon. I'll put some links in the description below to some other cool activities that you can explore in Lisbon. And so thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.